Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we are going to the Waterways Championship that's in uh, Grand Union Station. We got heavy rain, afternoon, two rounds, 20 minutes. And basically here we got, I think, Pike, Perch, and Xander. So we're gonna be targeting Pike. Um, probably gonna be dropping some um, some smelt. Maybe I'll try mackerel, mackerel smelt, and then we're probably gonna do some sort of top water lure to start. Just make sure we can spot the fish. Uh, let's just start with good old G finish the perch there. Awesome little lure. All right, so let's just start the event and see how we do, see how this goes. All right, so we're gonna start at the top right of the map. On the tour. With prize money and tour points and, uh, up for grabs, there's a lot at here. stake for each of our... All right, so I'm gonna claim the peg and just throw out my bait fish. Uh, I have caught some before going kind of in the middle of the canal here. And then they might be swimming around the bait, so we'll be able to spot them that way. Bring that a little closer. All right, now let's start tossing this out. We're gonna do 180 degrees. Just switch spots here. And just see if we get a visual on some nice pike here. Haven't seen any pike yet. Just a couple of perch. Oh, something's going after it. That might have been a, a carp though. Yeah, that's a carp. And there's another perch. Is that a pike? I wonder if that's a pike. It looks kind of short. I think that might be just a carp. So no visual confirmation of the fish yet. That might mean that we're gonna switch pegs. Okay, it looks like we caught something with the smelt. Let's check it out. Alright, it's just a little pike. Better than nothing, I guess.
All right, little 20 inch pike, not bad. Let's try casting between these two boats. Whoa. Do that again. Go 70%. Perfect. All right, now this one with the mackerel. I think I'm actually gonna switch it to a smelt. I feel like the smelt do better, but... And then this one I'm gonna put right between these two boats. And then it's time to switch this one out. See if we get some action with something else. Alright, let's try the petroleum pencil bait. Let's see if we can draw out a big pike out of the water. There's a sander there. See, usually I find some pretty big pike swimming around here, so I'm really shocked that I'm not even seeing not even one. Maybe I just cast in the wrong things out there. Let's try this. See if we can just draw out some fish. And then I'm going to switch pegs just because this is ridiculous. We should have at least seen some big pike swimming around. Okay. There he comes. You guys see that? There he is. There's finally a big pike. Swimming around, so that's good. He's not interested in this lure at all. Let's try this one. There we go. He's more interested in this one. He's big. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, since I'm seeing some, we might as well throw our dead bait right where we're seeing this fish swimming.
came after the pencil, uh, the spec, the pencil bait, the spectrum. So we're gonna try that one twice more or something like that, and then see if we can. Oh, there's two now. This is great. This is great. Hopefully one of those, there's two very nice pike swimming around the area. So hopefully they'll go for either the dead baits. All right, I'm just gonna keep switching this up because I just can't get them to. No, you know what? Let's get, let's get this guy. Looks like we got something guys, so let's check out that smelt. Hopefully it's a big one. Yeah, he's decent size, I'll take him. He's not the biggest one that was swimming around, but I'll take him. Oh, something else went for that lure. Oh my god, he's actually on the on the line. That's hilarious. I'm gonna see if I can get him because that's a poor strike, and I think that the one on the other rod will will actually last longer. And this guy's bigger. He's longer, so. It's a bit of a risk, but it might pay off. Like, I might lose the fish on line two, but this is a bigger fish, so. And this line has a poor strike, so he's gonna get rid of that, this line quicker. Okay, my original line snapped there heard it that sucks but I knew that would happen but this is the longer fish so that's why I'm doing this guys Luckily we have two rounds, and uh, I think that this peg is good, but it's just, it took a little while for the big pike to show up. Hopefully this guy will get tired and come in right now. Nice. Alright, 39 inches. That's beautiful. Puts us in second place, which is great considering it's two rounds. I can live with that. I can't believe that uh, he set himself on the hook without me even doing it. That's... It happens. I haven't seen it happen too much, but usually you lose it. But anyway, hopefully there's still some big pikes swimming around. Hopefully they didn't get spooked. And yeah, okay, there's another one. They seem to like this white lure. So 
So yeah, I'm happy to stay here and keep trying this. I know I said I would move pegs, but you know, I did. There is some large pikes here. Hopefully we can get this guy interested in... So, this one's not working anymore. So, we'll try the Devil's Horse. Nice, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Black Mamba. That will definitely put us in first place if we catch Black Mamba. Okay, we didn't catch the big one, but I will take it. I will definitely take it. All right, perfect. 32 inches, not bad. Let's see if we get, um, we can get one more, though I doubt it, in two minutes. But we're in first place, which is fantastic. Still one round left, so anything could happen, but, um, and I could get very well get kicked out of first place here. question is, should I return to this peg for the second round, just stay in this area? Black Mamba was there, so that would be sweet to catch him again. I, I do have a video, guys, on catching Black Mamba in the channel. Maybe I will put, um, it's a really cool fish, so maybe I'll put a link in, in uh, the description for that, if you guys want to go see that. It's pretty cool. Go for the yellow one. There he is. I'm pretty sure that's Black Mamba.
Alright, so that's pretty good. First place so far. 50 seconds left. We didn't have a very good start, but uh, we got there eventually. The Smithwick Devil Horse. Got a couple of them, and then we did have one with the smelt, but we had to let it go just because uh, I noticed that the other fish was bigger. And that might have made the, the difference between first and second place or something like that. But like I said, there's still one more round to go. Alright, let's go to our catch summary. So we got three northern pike. We use smelt, devil's horse, uh, white and black, and the devil's horse frog. So. There you go. Alright, 92 inches. Nice. That's a very good score. Very happy with that. Let's continue on to the second round. And uh, see how we do. Should we go to that same peg? What do you guys think? Uh, let's try to. I wonder if this peg I can walk backwards and fish under the bridge. Kind of want to see what's up with this bridge here. Yeah, okay, it's letting me do it. So we're going to fish this bridge. I haven't really done it before. We'll do it for a few minutes. And then we'll go back to doing exactly what we were doing. Now I should definitely probably have a shorter, shorter rods for this canal. But let's try this first. This area with the weeds here. And the, and the lily pads. See if, there's, see if we get anything. really don't want to spend too much time here because I'd rather go with what was working for, for us. But yeah, let's just fish the area. Just see if we get visual confirmation. If not, we're going to go back to that original peg. I was, oh, we got something right away. That's very interesting. With the smelt. He's not very big, but that's okay. A little pike looks like. Let's see if I can. He's gonna come in pretty fast. And here he comes. All right, northern pike, nice. See bubbles over there, so I'm gonna try this side of the canal. And then, oh, I do have two smelts. Good. I, I, I thought I still had the mackerel on. So this one, I'm going to chuck to the further lily pads. See if we can get some distance all the way there. Oh, no. Just about. Let's see if this works. Not bad. Let's see if we can get see if there's anything under here. Wonder if I can get nope. Oh there's very nice sized carp. But I don't see any predators yet. Hmm. 
Very nice sized carp. Oh, there's a pike right there. Nice, very nice. I think at this point it's probably better to do this. That was very weird. That's a big one. Come on. <laughs> I'll take it. There is a very nice sized pike here. So I'm going to keep uh, trying. We're going to go with what's been working for us. So we'll try the white. It's kind of awkward to get a nice cast in there, this bridge, but. Come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, that's too bad that we got the poor strike. But that's all right. I'll just take my time with it. He's not the bigger one I saw, but he's definitely a really nice size. So I'm going to bring this guy in. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, nice. We got something else. Hopefully we don't lose whatever's on that line. Pike don't stay on, on as, long, as long as carp do. But I'm excited to see what this guy is. He looks like he's got kind of like a different color pattern. In the green and uh, yellow dots. So Hopefully... See if I can increase the tension a bit. Oh, I really don't want to lose line two. Come on, buddy, get in here. Get in here, get tired, get tired, get tired. No, he's still got another round. Oh, I forgot that I had a poor strike on him, so I really shouldn't test this guy too much. It's alright if we lose that second line. It happens. We're still in first place, so... Oh, that's beautiful. Is this a trophy? Jolly Rogers! Awesome! 49 pounds under the bridge. Oh, what am I doing? Jolly Rogers, really cool, really cool. Oh my gosh, this guy's 91 yards out. Wonder if we got another, another special pike here. A 
130 yards out. Hundred and forty yards out. This is uh This guy's gotta start coming in. Wow, okay. Let's just see here. Is this Black Mamba, I wonder? This could be another trophy, guys. Two trophies in a row. That That's definitely something I haven't done before. And he's coming in. Alright, let's take a look. I, and that is Black Mamba, man. 53 inches long. Two trophies in a row. That's... That's amazing, man. Under this bridge, guys. Got him with the smelt. I've caught Black Mamba with the top water lure before as well. So it was definitely a good idea to switch spots and... Try something new. Pretty cool. Let's see if there are any pike left in this area, or I might switch areas again. But yeah, we're absolutely crushing the competition with 123 inches, which is definitely my personal best in uh, in this lake. Absolutely. Can't believe we caught two trophies, man. I'm still uh, reeling from that. That's pretty cool. I'm not seeing any more uh, big pike here swimming around. Oh, there's something there. See a carp? Yeah, that's a carp. So we're going to switch pegs again. Let's go to the left side of the map. And just see if there's any... I've caught some decent fish on this side of the map as well.
Whoa. Is that a car? That must have been a car. Let's just see if we get visual confirmation of, of some uh, big pike in this area. Oh, we already did, guys. So, I think that was pike anyway. So, big pike swimming this way, so I'm gonna just recast my smelts to be in the area where I just visually sighted the pike. And there you go. We got a bite almost immediately. Nice. After recasting, of course. Wonder if it's that big, big pike I just saw. Yeah, he's decent sized. Oh. We got movement on both lines. Probably gonna lose that other line. I guess not. I'm just gonna do this to get a look at it, see which one's bigger. And yeah, this one is obviously bigger, so I'm gonna let that other line go. Doesn't matter if we lose that little guy. We're doing great, guys. 123 inches, that's huge. I really doubt that uh, James Turner or Bradley Dorch or anyone else for that matter will be able to beat her score. I don't think we got another trophy on the line, but we're pretty much guaranteed a win at this point. And the little pike broke the line. Totally okay with that. Alright, let's bring him in. See what he looks like. Looks like a northern pike. Fish out of a dirty <laughs> London canal. Um, anyway, that's... Uh, 162 inches. That's awesome, man. This this is the kind of score that would probably win you, win you the elite version of the tournament. For sure. Let's try the lily pads. Smelt is what works really well for, for pike, I find. I find the gobble up the stuff.
Alright guys, I mean, there's one minute left. There's no way to submit my score, is there? But let's check out the, the catch summary. So we got a 20 inch pike with the smelt. Then we got Jolly Rogers, 49 inches. With the Smithwick Devil's Horse, white and black striped. And then we got Black Mamba, 53 inches with the smelt. That was under the bridge. And then we got another 39 inch pike on the right side of the state of, of the canal so this was a great great day you fish like this you're gonna win the elite tour oh there's another massive pike here the elite tour definitely we crushed the competition on this always a good day always a good day I don't think that guy will, uh... Alright, I'm just gonna close up the peg and go for a walk. Can we get past this? I think we can. Oh, but you can hold a, a peg closer. Way closer to the canal, which is interesting. Maybe you get some fish that way. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys are awesome. As you can see, we came in first place. We got 100 points, we're first in the championship. We got some nice cash from our sponsors. And yeah, thanks again for watching. If you guys like the content, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.